Modern aquaculture dates back to the 1950s with important technological advances, particularly in selected Southeast Asian countries. Commercial aquaculture was made possible due to the mastering of the reproduction cycle of various commercially valuable species and the formulations of feeds. In Mauritius, to help reduce pressure on capture fisheries in its lagoons, the Fisherman Investment Trust has worked closely with the EU-funded FAO Smartfish program in setting up small-scale fish production units for redundant fishers, fishing cooperatives and associations. This approach was seen as one possible solution in addressing the current fish overexploitation situation in the lagoons whilst increasing the income of the fishers community. Cage Construction As part of the Fisherman Investment Trust Capacity Building Program, two types of cages were constructed, namely an hexagonal wooden cage and a polypipe cage. Some 59 people were trained on cage construction. A typical cage consists of a floating framework which could be made from wood beams, polyethylene or metal pipes. Plastic drums are used as floats and cement blocks are used as anchors. Polyamide and polypropylene ropes are used to tie the net, floats and the anchoring system. For the wooden cages, the beams are set out in an open space and the required spacing between beams is carefully measured. Holes are drilled using a 16mm wood drill bit and bolts and nuts are used to secure the beams together. Galvanized iron plates can also be used as an added security for consolidating the cage. The plastic drums used as floats are carefully tied and secured. The type of knots used is very important and participants were taught the right type of knots to be used. Finally, the float caps are carefully sealed with silicon to avoid the floats from being filled with sea water. The assembled cage is then set at sea. Cement blocks weighing some 70 kilograms each are used as anchors. Eight cement blocks were used to anchor one cage at Catrasseur at a previously identified location in the sea. Finally, the cage is securely tied and is now ready for use. Circular aquaculture cages made from polypipes were also constructed and set at Catrasseur. These require skilled labor and special equipment is used for welding the pipes together. Once the cage was assembled on land, it was towed to the farm site at sea and secured using the ropes and the cement weights. Each cage is stocked with some 4,500 rabbit fish juveniles and an expected yield of some 1,500 kilograms of fish is expected at harvest time following a successful culture cycle. Good management practice. Good management and proper maintenance are prerequisites for a good harvest and a successful project. Throughout the training courses, emphasis has been laid on good management and thorough maintenance of the cages. When stocking the cages, sudden changes in water temperature must be avoided to the juvenile fish, weakened by transportation. So, acclimatization is needed to gradually balance the temperature of the transport water with that of the culture environment, so as to allow the fish to adapt to the new environment and swim freely from the container without stress. The right amount of fish to be stocked needs to be calculated prior to the stocking process itself. But overcrowding the cage may lead to a lowering of the growth rate, problems of competition and cannibalism, and the increased risk of health problems. Feeding is important. The rabbit fish is an herbivorous fish and feeds mainly on algae. However, some artificial feed may be used to boost growth. The amount of feeds to be used needs to be calculated on a weekly basis as the fish will consume more as it grows. In this regard, it is important to record the feed conversion ratio. The amount of feed to be used also depends on the water temperature, the species farmed and the stage of development of the fish itself with younger fish 
being more voracious and requiring more frequent feeding. The amount of feed used is expressed at the percentage of the fish biomass. Good management also means keeping proper records of all farm activities. Daily records of feed delivered, fish mortality, maintenance carried out, health of the fish, all need to be adequately recorded. Regular samplings need to be carried out to determine the growth rate and the increase in fish biomass. That is, the total weight of the fish in the cage and consequently adjust the feed ration. Depending on the overall performance of the fish, adjustments are made, particularly in feed delivery. Regular observations on the cage structure are important. The regular motion of the sea may in fact loosen the ropes holding the floats to the cage frame. Furthermore, wear and tear, fish grazing on the net and predators may damage the holding net with appearance of holes where fish may escape. The net needs to be checked daily and immediate actions taken in repairing any damaged portion. Furthermore, nets have to be regularly cleaned to keep a constant and adequate flow of water within the cage. Too much fouling will decrease the amount of available oxygen to the fish. It is recommended to chain the net, that is, Use a net of bigger mesh size as the fish grow to facilitate the exchange of water and provision of sufficient oxygen. Also, the anchoring ropes need to be regularly controlled and stripped clean from fouling organisms. Good farm management practice is essential at all times in order to ensure the successful outcome of the farming operation. A healthy fish culture environment will surely translate in a better cash flow for the fish farmer. For us, the PC Artisanal, the PC Aragon, is the best. I think it is the aquaculture is the best for us. The aquaculture is the best for us. Processing and Value Addition Manual processing techniques are used. First, the fish are weighed and the weight recorded. The rabbit fish is then filleted, skinned and marinated. Note that cleanliness is essential at all stages of processing. Flake ice is used to keep the fillets fresh. Two 
types of marinade will be used, namely the Italian style consisting of olive oil, pepper and salt and the Creole style using saffron, pepper and salt. Marinated fillets are then vacuum packed and labeled prior to distribution and sales at supermarkets.